Silent Hill 2, the Xbox and PlayStation 2 game from 2001, is back in 2024 and running on Unreal 5, supporting ray tracing, DLSS, and FSR. Is your rig ready for this game? Or is it your GPU that will be running scared? Taking a look at VRM usage, and this game really doesn't use all that much, at least when looking at resolutions up to 1440p. The settings you choose don't even change that all that much, with 900p at low and 900p on epic quality settings both use around 7 gigabytes. It's not until we get to 4K that we actually see much of a difference, with low quality using a little under 9 gigabytes, and epic quality using a little over 10 gigabytes. And even enabling ray tracing doesn't really change the VRAM requirements, which usually means the game's requesting a bit more than you'll normally need. 8 gigabytes is more than enough for this game as long as you're not looking to do 4K with ray tracing. But those of you looking to play at 1080p, what kind of GPU will you actually need? And at epic quality settings, the lowest GPU you can get away with is the Intel Arc A750 coming in at 30.3 FPS. But if you are okay with low quality settings, the RTX 3050 should be able to hit 30 FPS since the jump from epic to low gives you at least 30% more performance. If you are looking for a 60 FPS experience, you are going to need a much more powerful card, especially on the AMD side, which seems to be underperforming at least at launch. For 60 FPS, you'll need an RTX 3080, which produces 65 FPS, with the RX 7900 XT giving you 67.2, the RX 7900 GRE coming up a bit short at 59.6. But if you are looking for a 100 FPS experience, you only have one option, the RTX 4090 coming in at 110.1. When bumping up to 1440p, no card is able to produce 100 FPS, and now all the AMD cards are below 60 FPS, and you'll need an RTX 4070 Ti if you want 60 FPS on Nvidia. The good news is that there's lots of cards that produce a 30 FPS experience with the RX 6800 and the RTX 3060 Ti, both up to the task. And with lower quality settings, you should be okay with an RTX 3060, RX 6700 XT, and the Intel Arc A770. The move to 4K though is way too much for most of these cards, with the lowest now being in single digits, and if you're looking for a 30 FPS experience, you're going to need a pretty powerful card, with the RX 7900 XTX being the line for AMD, and the RTX 4070 Ti being it for Nvidia. At this high resolution and settings, the RTX 4090 doesn't even achieve 60 FPS, now coming in at 53.7. And then there's ray tracing, which now brings the total number of 30 FPS cards down to 4, meaning you would need an RTX 4070 Ti Super in order to achieve 30 FPS. It's going to be impossible at these settings with an AMD, at least at launch. And this is the first time we have seen a difference between the RTX 4060 Ti 8GB and 16GB with that extra VRAM needed. But however much VRAM you have, your GPU is probably running scared.